Hello and welcome to One Day From Sapporo. My name is James and today I bring you to a very, very special location here. Now today, I'll be going to the hot springs here. I'll be staying in one of the hotels here, one of the famous hotels which has a very long history. And uh, I'll be enjoying some of the local food and uh, just as always, having a great time here in this hot spring resort. Just ahead over here, you can see Kappa. They're one of these kind of mythical creatures, uh, like a, a amphibious demon, uh, very famous here in Jorzanke. Now Kappa, if you walk around town, you'll find them everywhere. They're in many different locations, uh, many uh, statues where you can take photos of them. Uh, this is Tsukimi Bridge. Um, Tsukimi is like moon, moon viewing, so obviously this is probably a very good place to see the moon when it's out. You get a lovely view of uh, Jorzanke. Now this of course is the winter scenery, but uh, if you come here in summer, spring, summer, autumn, completely different view. Now actually this is a very special place because uh, you can come here and uh, dip your feet into these lovely hot waters here. This is what is known as Ashiyu. And the amazing thing is that this is all free. You don't have to pay any money. Oh, lovely and warm. Oh. That's good. Now, especially if you've been walking around all day, this is a great place to come and just rest and relax your feet. Um, this is a great place to relax. You get to see a view of Jules Anke from above. What an amazing place to come to. I'll never, ever tire of coming here. Now one of the best things about the hot springs here is that you can explore a lot of Japanese culture in one place. We are approaching. This is our hotel for today, Hotel Milione. Looks like a celebrity's hotel. Yeah, I'll just take, take a look at that. That is gorgeous. Here we have uh, Birch Terrace Bakery and Cafe. Okay, this is a lovely, homely place to come and have a break. It seems that everything's made of wood here. And just over here, there's this uh, lovely, lovely little bakery here with a selection of breads. And they also have coffee too. Now just outside here, we have a foot bath. Okay, it's pretty cold now, but I'm gonna put my feet in this lovely hot foot bath here. Oh, that's wonderful. The best thing about this is you can enjoy this foot bath with this fantastic view in front of you here. That is amazing. Oh. Now, another thing you can enjoy here, of course, is the food. So I ordered this uh, manju set here, which comes with a nice hot coffee and uh, these Jorzanke manju. Now these, uh, these are like a traditional Japanese sweet. I was getting mochi and manju mixed up there. So yes, manju, is, it's kind of like, it's like a cake. And inside, if you just open it up, you can see this lovely sweet bean filling here. Look at that. Itadakimasu. Now that is a real taste of Jorzanke. 
common gift as well if you want to buy something for a friend. This is a good idea. You can really taste the, uh, the kind of brown sugar inside. Mmm, that goes really well with this wonderful foot bath. Oh, my feet are lovely and warm now. And it's been cold today. Looks like our room is over here, 1301. Oh. oh, wow. Wow, what an amazing room. Oh, and this is the natural hot spring. Just for me. <laughs> This is an amazing room, wow. I'll be very happy to stay here for one night. Well, I've got a little time left before it's time for dinner. So I think what I'm gonna do now is make my way to the uh, hot spring area in this hotel and enjoy a nice hot bath. Okay, let's go and take a look. This is so soothing. Ah. Now, you can enjoy these hot springs at any time of year, but I always recommend the winter season because it's so cold and when you walk through and come outside and enter the bath, it's such a, a great feeling to just escape from that cold and get into the hot water. This is so relaxing. <laughs> Okay, when you enter this area, you'll see just as you come in, you have the trays, chopsticks, uh, you have forks, spoons, everything you need to start your journey to the buffet. Okay, well here we have a nice big glass of uh, Sapporo Classic. Now this beer, you can only get in Hokkaido. If you want to drink it draft, only Hokkaido. So as they say in Japan, kanpai. And as we say in England, cheers. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, let's dig in then. Well, I think the first thing I'm going to do is uh, try some of this shore cutter, the fermented squid guts. Let's uh, mix it with a bit of potato and some butter. That saltiness goes really well with the beer. Mm, what a great combination. I think really I should have started first with the ramen. Just have a look at this. This is a lovely bowl of ramen here. And you can make as much noise as you like when you slurp them as well. Mm. Really good. So this looks like uh, the margarita pizza 
Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. Mmm, cheese is fantastic. Great pizza. Excellent pizza. Now, just take a look at this. It's of sashimi. The tuna. We'll just dip it into the uh, into the wasabi and soy sauce here. Mmm, that's so good. Mmm, that is fantastic. Well, after that meal, I am well and truly stuffed. As you can see, it's already nighttime outside now. I'm getting a little bit sleepy, I think, so uh, I think I'll be ready for bed soon. Oh, let me just put my feet up. This has been One Day from Sapporo. I have been James. If you'd like to, there are a great many other videos that you can watch, so please take a look. Hope to see you again, and thanks for watching. See you.